My name's Alan Hart and today I'm with John Wilson from Raven 8. Hi Alan, uh, thanks for giving me the opportunity to, to go through a few features and benefits of the, uh, the CS90. Uh, CS90 is the 30 kilowatt uh, version in the range. There's also the CS80, which is the 25 kilowatt in the range, both carrying a two year manufacturer's warranty. The white heat version of the same appliance, the 80 and the 90, carries a seven year warranty. Uh, just to take you through a little bit of uh, bits and pieces, uh, lightweight, easy to install. The 30 kilowatt is uh, 30 kg and the 25 kilowatt is 25 kg, so easy to install, easy to lift. Uh, the fixing tabs are at the top, um, so two screws, um, dead easy to get on the wall. Um, not only because of its, 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 its actual weight, but also the, the fixings that are in position. When the valve pack's fitted, it's uh, easy to pipe up. Um, the valves are virtually integral, so the customer's eye line, they're unseen. Uh, as you can see on the boiler, it's a nice clean line. If you look to the left hand side, you'll see that the appliance is very close to the wall. That's not an issue because the side panels will just withdraw. It's not necessary to pull the side panels to the left or to the right to disengage from the back. They will just withdraw from the side. So side clearances are not an issue. Yes, you can hang the boiler on combustion material. That is not a problem. So MDF, if you're on a balance flue or anything, no issues at all. We're currently in the process of, of sorting out a, a, a fixing bracket, but we also have a standoff bracket available if there's any issues with, with piping up down the back. Uh, compensate is, is concertina, okay, so this can be fitted anywhere along the line of pipe so you're not uh, actually stuck to one side. Obviously we'd like to see the, the inch and a half in old money waste pipe coming through for the, the condensate but no need to put a bung there because there is a ball which stops any products of combustion coming back into the room. When we look at the, dis the display we also have a, as an optional extra, if this is being fitted in a loft or a garage you can disconnect this control and this control is volt free switching so the customer cannot come into contact with any high tension electric so no high voltage if you're fitting in a zone 2 situation. But if you are fitting in a loft the, the most important thing to a member of the public and your customer base is that they can actually see the pressure on the boiler. Well, if the boiler's in the loft, as you can see, that you know the customer can't see that. So you can actually detach this, and an optional extra, it's like a thermostat down on the wall downstairs, where you can fit downstairs, and the customer can see the pressure of the boiler up in the loft. They can also set the the temperatures and the timer, and all the the features on the boiler can be set downstairs rather than having to clamber into the loft, which is. Is a, is a very a good selling feature in, in my opinion. The control panel is, is easy to use. We've, we've put a lot of effort into the, the user instructions in the manual. Um, here we have the hot water and the central heating, obviously with the, the temperature gauge. And here we have the navigation keys for the plus and minus. This increases the temperature of the heating and the temperature of the hot water. To the right hand side of the display we have the reset. There is over 25 different reset codes. If there's any issues, then the, the reset will come into play. Here we have the, the enter button, which incorporates the summer winter, which shows half a snowflake and half a sun. And then we have the program button below it, and the bottom button is the timer button. This is built-in timer, okay? Everything that we do, we supply boiler flue and clock. There's no extras for the flue, no extras for the clock. It's all as one package, okay? Now, let's just set the boiler running. The, the makeup of the boiler, the fan is directly onto the burner. So it's, 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 virtu it's very, very quiet in operation. I'm not going to say it's silent, but it's very, very quiet in operation, Alan. It's, you know, it's, and that's due to the fact of the burner being, the, the, the fan being connected to the burner. When it modulates down, it'll come right down to 3.5 kilowatts. So basically, all you've got is a beading of gas across the burner. So it's, 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 the efficiencies are, 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 are tremendous. Okay, so let, let's switch the boiler onto central heating. I've now gone to the manual. If you look to the right hand side, we've got a radiator depicting central heating. And to the left hand side, we've got a tap, okay? We're now flashing on the radiator, which is telling us, depicting to us that it's now calling on central heating. The boiler is now fired. Now, 
a feature for the installer is if I press the P button and then go to the adder up, it's telling me at this point now that the fan is running at 1,500 revs per minute and ramping up as it goes. The power is at 21%. The domestic hot water, which we're not running domestic hot water, this is just the, the transfer temperature, is now at 43. The return temperature is 50 and as flow temperature is 59. Now, the thing is for you guys and you, Alan, it's, it's, a, it's a handy feature when you're actually commissioning an appliance because when you're filling in your benchmark logbook, it gives you the temperature of the cold main before you switch it on, it gives you the temperature of the hot water coming out of the appliance, but the main thing is it gives you the flow and return temperatures so you're not having to use a thermostat, okay? It gives you that information. So, I'll just escape from, from that menu, okay? Now, let's just turn the let's just turn the thing off okay so I'll go to the off button as you can see there what is an handy feature here is that let's say domestic hot water when we're running domestic hot water the tap will flash now with our other products and, and many products on the market for an installer to know that the boiler is calling on hot water is physically to take the case off to actually see the magnetic sensor light illuminate and if it's illuminates it knows it's calling on hot water this if it's not flashing it ain't calling it's as simple as that what we've tried to do with this boiler is make it so you don't have to take anything out of it you don't have to dismantle the case you don't have to dismantle the case to fit it you don't have to take any screws out that's been very important in our research and development okay let's let's move on now quickly to to set the programmer okay it's simple Press the P, it's now come up time, okay, this is the customer's menu. Press enter, and as we can see here, we've got day, we've got time. So it's as simple as the navigation keys on the left and the right, the plus and the minus, and when we've got the correct time, press enter. This doesn't disappear after seconds, so it, it, it stays flashing for as long as you like, so the customer doesn't get, get confused. So we've, let's say for, for, for argument's sake, we've now set the time. We press the P again. We say time, we've already done the time. Now, remember this is down in the user instructions, very simple, step by step. Program timer, okay. Press enter. As you can see now, my timer has come up. This timer can be set all seven days at different times, Alan, in half an hour increments. So, you know, it's, it's, it's very versatile. The most common would be all seven days. The second would be five and two. That's dead simple. So let's say, for instance, there we've, we've, we've set the Monday. We press again, one on 6.30, one off 8.30 and so on. So it's, it's very basic in its setting, but very comprehensive what it can do. Okay. So press the escape okay right now this is the if you like the installer menu now this is very important this boiler has two menus one the customer menu and one the installer menu if I go into the P done the time we've done the program timer the next is boil okay now boil is the installer or the service engineer menu, okay?